Boy, Janno Seekers Restaurant. Yes, I know who be in the Dimbal. Number Domoro Kara Janno. Domoro Senata, Adiata, Topotoro, Fanan Kendama Bigi. Luntan During, Tamala, Abeka Domoro Kijan, Adimanda Walade, Takawe Bijele, Anim Fanan Kafa Dijang, Ukono Efa. A government of pastry and in bakery, Uko Fanan Bekanian. Bad lomba conference lomba workshop lomba ye fo fe ni lo dunia ko no domoro betama ni lo international otoda number 1 amanke ba domoro jandama e sa domo jang e sa tariya a wo mu ku bandi sa na ko sa futandin e oto sa na ko be mu sikes restaurant ndaba na janna mu yad ni manje do rombi jang aban sikes restaurant known for best quality food and customer satisfaction Communication, connectivity is everything. We ensure that the links never sleep. Quantities and qualities, all in our data service, providing efficient, reliable voice and data service. We believe if you're not up to speed, then you're going backwards. Communications have to flow as fast as the speed of light. Whatever business you're in, having someone who understands your needs is critical. That is why we just don't offer you technology, we offer you solutions. Enjoy Gamsel's internet broadband anytime, anywhere. Your national operator, Gamsel, Yaibarom. Alright. Honey, did you remind him that the last time he sent the money, it was not enough to buy all the provisions? Oh, sorry, I forgot to tell him. Are you guys talking about money transfer to buy provisions? Yes. yes, but don't you know about Baluo? Baluo? What is Baluo? Baluo is a service that your son can use to send provisions directly to you guys from the shop. And you don't have to worry about the exchange rates. Tell me how Baluo works. It's very simple. Just log on to baluo.com and shop or download the app on your phone. You can shop on the website or using the app to buy online basic products for your family and friends. With Baluo, you decide what your money is spent on. Your money, your choice. Buy online products for your family and friends in the Gambia, Senegal, Nigeria or Mali. Baluo, better than sending money. of owning your dream homes. EJ Investment is here for you. Secure our quality bungalows with two, three or four bedrooms or our story buildings. Three or four to five bedrooms at very affordable prices with flexible payment plans at our Sanyang Seaview Estate where you can enjoy the cool breeze with modern infrastructure. 
such as the roads, covered drainage system, modern electrification with street lights, gated entrance with security posts, and social amenities such as gas station, shopping mall, medical clinic, park, schools, children daycare, and a lot more. Our dedicated team of professionals will keep the estate clean at all times, provide security and patrol team within the estate premises, install latest technologies such as CCTV, Wi-Fi, home network installation, solar panel, and power backup system. Also, check out for our additional home facilities and interior design service, such as premium tiling, wall plaster, home landscape, fingerprint home lock, and a lot more. Visit our office at Senegambia Kololi Highway and get a free site visit tour or contact us on 4464-838. WhatsApp us on 3259-220. Or you can visit our Facebook page or Instagram on EJ Investments. EJ Investments, we are first in properties. Alba, <laughs> 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 solicitors a legal excellence firm in london that can help you with all aspects of your legal work if you are looking at immigrating to the united kingdom stewart and co can help you to set up business buy houses in the uk and will deal with all your legal works from start to finish for all your general immigration work we can help you with that as well if you apply for any form of visa where the student visas settlement visas marriage visas or a child wanting Welcome to come to the united kingdom to settle summer. with the family we can Mr. help Kambay, you to achieve your goal stewart and co solicitors a legal excellence firm specializing in convenience Immigration, litigation, family law, personal injury, licensing, knowing no fee. Contact us today at www.sk-solicitors.com. But, but before we get into what happened at the panel, uh, can we confirm your date and place of birth? The first March 1970. Where were you born? Bakal San Thank you very much. So now, tell us, Ansel. Before you get to the question that I was going to raise about this time, I don't know if I to interrupt you, but I want to, I want to seek a clarification of a minor point that for me is crucial. You were a witness to 
um, mm. uh, uh, witness, you have been mentioned, uh, that uh, when uh, the American soldiers came to uh, State House, one of them, the first one, I think you talked about two, the first one uh, uh, had uh, uh, been had been talking to uh, President Jawara, and uh, uh, if you heard the exchange between them, you indicated that uh, the President had said that these were his uh, uh, soldiers, these were uh, men um, in the armed forces of the Gambia, and uh, he would see them. Uh, but at some point, the American, you've said, the American soldier uh, wanted him to go. I'm not sure if you were indicating that he didn't want to go, and uh, I think the translation was he took him by the hand, if it was uh, um, grabbing him or whatever, uh, he did not, um, and then took him, uh, took him down to the car. There was a, another American soldier there who, uh, I think again, your description was not very clear, that they turned him round, as you put it, and uh, he was then put in the vehicle. You weren't implying, witness, that uh, he did not volunteer to get in that car to go to the um, American um, frigate at the port. If you were implying that, that uh, it was not voluntary, I don't think the Americans came in there to kidnap uh, uh, Jawara forcibly take him to the vehicle and then get him out of the country. I may be exaggerating it at this point, but that's the implication. Can you just clarify this point uh, at that moment, what exactly happened during that five, ten minute period that you were uh, witness to uh, between Yawara and uh, the two American soldiers? Sorry, let, interpreter. Uh, let me try to summarize that. Um, I'm not lost. I'm not going to go back now. I have heard about how many how many children a zero minute be zero fifty minute. What I'm going to say is that we are going to have many soldiers America new na the waha sada or the jawara for mu and that mom. We are going to get the card to sada or the money. Mom they do them that the new I need them link I soldiers we want link. Legi nak model di kujil hece kuchil loko. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Anda bim anda mum, defu kau orang cuci coba rem. Mana am defu mel ni dal, mum sah dauda, soldari Amerika ni, then kau force yubuko dah lulu la sakadu di teki waladid. Soldari Amerika ni bunyo nyu, when the American soldiers came, dan nyu besi bunda bunyu tau. They came to the gate and then they stopped. In fungu tau, di time we secret force bampu orang state guard. And they had to stop because at the time there were security forces there of the state guards. Guy, your president, the information. They gave the president the information. President, you watch upstairs to downstairs. The president came from upstairs to downstairs. I can remember. My mother town for you. We were the security officer. Plain clothes and be. I can remember because I was standing there and he was speaking to his security officer, the plain clothes officer. Mungoware, these are my Gambian soldiers. And he was telling him, these are my Gambian soldiers. When they come, I will talk to them. Any agreement, Manakosov, I'm the president. And any agreement, I am able to solve it because I'm the president. But at that time, they were giving him the clearance that there were some American soldiers that have arrived. And that they were at the gate. Then we give go ahead to you. And then he gave the go ahead for them to come in. When they came in, they were speaking to him. And he was responding. That is when he stretched out his hand and pulled him and he sat in the vehicle. 
U-turn and the vehicle made a U-turn and went away. Uh, that happened there. Well, natural question is, was he forced into the vehicle or was he just pulled into the vehicle, assisted to get in? Not every boy. Mom said that the soldier America go. That's why force. Mudugu chibir mutobi. Wala that's why don't japale put mumuna duga chibir mutobi. No, that's why don't assist. No, he was assisting him. Mudugu chibir mutobi to board the vehicle. But it's only by force that one. But if it was force done forcefully, by the time when you want put wa put you disarm. At that time, they 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 are not to ask us disarm. I do not think that the American soldiers would have uh, come into the state house at that time. Just three soldiers. And they did not carry any weapons. I don't think they would have been able to kidnap the president in such a way. Maybe they too had a mission which indicated to them that you want them a president. They should go along with the president. I believe for help. But this is uh, what happened. Thank you very much for that clarification. So Jawara was not kidnapped by the American soldiers and forcibly taken to the ship. Yes, sir. No, sir. Thank you, Council. You may continue. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair, for those clarifications. Uh, quite helpful indeed. Uh, so here we are. You were taken to the NIA by Bobaji. You were left there until the evening. And tell us what happened. Well, what is 7 o'clock? Around 7 o'clock. There was one particular NIA officer by the name Kinte. What's his first name? Musa Kinte. Musa Kinte. Yes, proceed. Musa Kinte, you know, uh, Hana Musa Jeno, what do you want to do? Musa Kinte came to me and said to me, Hasn't Bob Baji told you anything? I said to him, No. Munewa, then Kaito, you can see Benin Nigunau. He said, well, then come and sit here in one small room. That was where I sat, and he said he was uh, going upstairs, and if there was anything, he would come back and inform me. That was where I was until half past eight. Half past seven to eight o'clock. From uh, around half past seven to eight o'clock. Morning or evening? Evening. 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 They came and picked me up from there. Bambadinka. They took me to Bambadinka. Who who took you from there to Bambadinka? Can you tell me who flew you to Bambadinka? Musa Kinte. Musa Kinte. And some security NIA officers. And some NIA officers. Lamindabo. Lamindabo. Mm -hmm. uh, where in the NIA do you call Bambadinka? Fan Bambor si NIA ngayon o yung Bambadinka. I think that is their worst cell so far. Where exactly is it located as far as you can recall? When you get into the NIA premises, on your left, on your left, upstairs or downstairs? Downstairs. Downstairs. Uh, the witness has just identified uh, the same exact location we were told was Bambadinka. Uh, proceed. That was where I was until 2 a.m. He came and uh, collected me. Who? Lamindabo. Lamindabo. Musa Kinte. Musa Kinte. That guy we have more than I don't know the third guy. Guy, you ma upstairs. He took me upstairs. How how were you taken upstairs? Nakalenga you bo chiko. Wa lamenda bo bala magena si selu. Before I came out of the cell, lamenda bo. Mune dapa sura nalo back. He wanted to put a plastic uh, bag over my head. I mune man, I'm a gentleman. But he said that I was a gentleman. 
So he cuffed my hands in front of me. And I escorted my go. And then I was escorted upstairs. go. When I got to the top, I found a panel like like this new top. I found a panel seated just like where we are. Tell us about the composition of that panel. panel officers, and I police. There were many security officers in that uh, panel, but uh, most of them were NIA and uh, members of the police force. Can you tell us who you can recall were there? Do you know can you give us tell us who are the officers? Alaji Mor. Alaji Mor. Alaji Mor. Do you know his full name or last name? Alaji Mor. I'm the Santa. Job. Job. Do you know his full name? I'm going to run the guy. 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 I think it's Alaji Mor Job. Proceed, please. Egali. Alaji Mor Job. I'm going to run the guy. I'm going to run the guy. Before we get to that, let's try to establish the composition of the panel, those who you can recall, those whose names you can remember. You've told us Alaji Mor Job was there. You were escorted by Ms. Akinte and Lamin Davo, a third person you don't know. Tell us who else was at the panel. No, this panel, 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 the police thing on as an NIA officer, how many? The panel was comprised of police officers and NIA officers, and I did not know them. I'm a very military officer when I went to the panel. There was no military officer in that panel. Okay, proceed, please. So, but Alaji, how many of them were there? How many? No, 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 panel. Panel begin at roughly 18 or, two, or almost 20. It will be about 18 or almost 20 individuals. Uh -huh. Proceed. Alaji Mor, Mula Mahana, Jibkini, Wola, Dera, Bo Baji. Alaji Mor said to me, hasn't Bo Baji told you anything? I said no. I said to him, no. Munama, Bo sacrificed you. He said to me, Bo has sacrificed you. Munama, you must sign a statement. He said to me, you, you must sign a statement. I asked him what kind of statement will I sign. Munama, uh, how to call it, uh, Bo Baji. He said, well, since Bo Baji has not told you anything, we have nothing to tell you here. And I have to sign documents. You have to sign these documents, and then you find your way. At this stage, did you see any documents you were to sign? No, what No, I was not shown any document. At this stage, have you been interviewed? No. Uh, at this stage. Have you been told why you were taken to the NIA? Yamano yo yo wahne ni la land mo tahni yo bula NIA. Did it? No. Have you been told that you had the right uh, to access a lawyer? Da yamano yo yo tami do wahne ni la ne munda am lawyer bo ham ne mo la tewa. Did it? No. So the, here they were. They told you you had to sign a statement. Did you in fact know what those statement that statement was to be about? Uh, you were told you were told that you had to sign a document did you know what was contained in that document yes, sir. No, sir. then what happened after that? and then after my address after I stood and uh, Job asked me to undress. Which Job? Alaji Mor. Alaji Mor. At the time I was dressed in my military uniforms. I said to him, Alaji Mor, that cannot be possible. How do you know he was Alaji Mor? I spent some time with him, about two weeks inside the NIA. That was, uh, after that, I knew that he was uh, Alaji Mor. Uh, and how about Musa Kinte and Lamin Dabo? How did you know who they were? Musa Kinte and Lamin Dabo, I don't know how many of them are. At the same time, you must spend with them there. It's the same time that I spent with them there. Proceed, please. Now, Alaji Mor and Lamin Dabo, Alaji Mor and Lamin Dabo, you know, you might try to just, man. They were trying to pick uh, my uh, legs off the ground. 
But I stood firm. But what I can remember, someone called me from behind. And I was uh, trying to look behind. Something hit me. And that uh, gave me some dizziness. That was when I collapsed. Where were you hit? It hit me just above my eye. Could you lift your parrot so we can see if there is a scar? Could you indicate the spot? Ah, do you know what you were hit with? I don't know what it was, but I know that it was painful. So you, you collapsed, you fainted. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I am going to give you a photograph of yours. So could you just circle the spot where the injury occurred and then you sign the document? Could you sign the document? Put your name and signature and date. So as a result of this blow, you fainted. So kindly tell us what happened when you came to, when you regained consciousness. After that, Magis guy the handcuff which was in, fr in front of me. Now my hands were cuffed behind my back. And also my uniforms were torn. And I was totally naked. You mean completely naked? No briefs, no underwear, nothing? Completely. And you walked before this panel of 20 men. Yeah. At this stage, how did you react? I couldn't react because I couldn't work, I couldn't do anything, so I just lay there. My, my head was bleeding at the time. And what I realized, nobody realized. What I realized. They were beating me very well at that time. What were they using to beat you? I think it could have been iron rods because the beatings, each time they hit me, I used to bleed. I was beaten until my entire body was all with blood. So falling material on. And that was where I was uh, made to lie down. And uh, there was a tussle amongst the panel members. What do you mean by that? Can you explain this what this tussle, what was it about? Whether this was worth it or not. I heard that being said. But at the time, I was unable to do anything for myself. I was lying there on the floor. After 30 minutes, after 30 minutes, Bobaji knew. Bobaji came. Bobaji knew. When he came, Mugis Makonison and saw my condition. Gumagisi Mundal. What I realized from him, simply I mune neho kodal. It was not pleasing to him. I mune wahaman. But he was speaking to me. I mune mo responding. Di mo nun bleed. But I could not respond to him because I was bleeding. Sila o gis mo bumugenat. That was when I saw him bow, leave, 
and went uh, together with Elijah Moore. Guide them. And they went away. Did you hear any conversation between the two of them? No, they left me at the panel, which was upstairs, where I was lying on the floor, and they uh, came downstairs. But as they were going out, did you hear them say anything? No one like why Japan They were speaking, but I could not capture exactly what they were saying. Uh, and uh, in, uh, did in your statement, uh, you indicated that, uh, and I quote, I, uh, well, no, let me take it a step backwards. So after a while, one of the panelists asked them to stop or else they will kill me. And they stopped, and then Bobaji arrived. I heard him pushing and pulling with Alaji Bor. This was not the agreement. This was not the agreement. Who said that? Bobaji. Who did he say it to? Alajimur. Alajimur. What was he referring to, as far as you understand? My observation according to the way I see things is what they told me from the first day that Bo set me up. But uh, what did you understand Bo to mean when he said that this was not the agreement? And according to your statement, you said, and he angrily left the room, and Alaji Moore went after him. From the initial st uh, stage, when I was told that I was set up by Bo, Bo and Bo came and found me in that condition, at the same time, buy what my condition be. And at the same time, he left me in that condition. Then how many agreement? Who made agreement at Alajimor? Then I know that whatever agreement it was they had with Alajimor, yet she part of setup plan. All of it was part of the setup. Do you believe that Bo agreed to what happened to you? Na gumu gani Bo? Nangu na chini na hamu mo ala dal anda na chini. Bo dafu pita ne happy wood. Bo pretended not to be happy with my situation. But also I realized this was something that pleased him. Because he left me in that naked condition for three days. I never saw him again. Until Bo went to mile two, that was when I saw him. Until when I went to mile two, that was when I saw him. If he was happy with your situation, why would he leave there angrily? Well, this the I realized that perhaps he was not pleased with the beatings that were meted on me. Well, but also I realized that he could not tell me anything that I was uh, accused of or even prepared to get me out of the situation that I was in. Even the first day, even when he left the first day, NIA officers, the NIA officers, what they usually tell me the army, the army sacrificing. is that I am sacrificed by the army. Did they tell you how? 
could not tell me how okay on this particular occasion uh, you were stripped naked handcuffed behind your back beaten thoroughly you were bleeding all over Bo came and left angrily Elijah Moore followed what happened after that after I was dragged from there to the upstairs and I was returned to the Bambadika. Who made that order? And how were you taken to Bambadinka? They carried me. And where were your clothes? I left them in the hall. Did you go to Bambadinka with your clothes or without your clothes? I had my t shirt, my white t shirt. That was the one they gave me. How about your underwear? No, so you are no, naked from waist down? Yes, for three days. Yes, for three days. So they took you to Bambadinka? Were you alone there? Yes, sir, for the first day. I was there alone. Yes, sir. For the first day I was there alone. But you were left naked for three days? Yes, sir. What yes. happened the second day when others came to the cell? Well, second day, sir. In fact, the second day, Mogona was first day. Was even worse than the first day. Because at that time, my wounds were healing. Have started to heal. Proceed. Fufu, Singapore do have the military up. So when you are beaten on the, the same spot, it used to pain a lot. So tell us about that second day, what happened? Mr. Witness, are you able to proceed or you need more time? Oh, Thank you very much. Uh, we know it is very difficult relieving uh, all these things. We just crave your indulgence. It is important that we hear. Uh, what you went through. Uh, Thank you very much for your willingness to proceed. So tell us what happened the second day. Uh, second day, Mugina was first day. The second day was worse than the first day. Tell us what happened while you were in the cell. Why you learn more like that? Then we can get the cell before you. Lamun Dabo, the first day, my cell. Lamun Dabo came and took me out of the cell. I bought with a muscle and nylon bag. But he put a plastic bag over my head. Uh, in your statement. You said the next day at night again. Wahane, che elixir, che goodie word. Musa kinteke. Musa kinte nyuna. 
Was it Lamin Dabo or was it Musa Kinte? Lamin Dabo or Musa Kinte? They came together, but then I'm, I'm very used to Lamin Dabo, but it's Musa Kinte. No, no, and the Lord, Lamin Dabo, mean Makawai, and Musa Kinte. Okay, so it was, so when you said it was Lamin Dabo, that was a slip of the tongue. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Well, I mean, you reach a reach a guy, you know, and Lamin Dabo, but Musala. But you can confirm it was Musa Kinte? Yes, sir. So proceed and tell us what happened when Musa Kinte came. Musa Kinte? When Musa Kinte came, when he came, he took me out of the cell. But as soon as I came out of the cell, a plastic bag was put over my head. Because as I told you earlier, that was more painful than the first day. It was new and good, but because the people who are doing the beating were many. Okay, so let's take it step by step. And you are taken out of the cell and the plastic bag was put over your head. Uh, how about your hands? Was anything put into in, in your hands? Yes, they were coughed. And then what happened? You must have been story building before you can have. took me behind the story building. And then what happened? Mm -hmm. That place was very difficult. Tell us what happened. Mm -hmm. I was tortured seriously. This time around, as you went there, did you wear any any pants, any underwear, apart from your 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 singlet. They don't have the same color. They are In fact, the T-shirt I did not put on it. They only gave it to me so that I can use it to wipe out the blood on my body. Why I was in Bambadika, completely naked throughout the entire period. So, so when they take you at the back of the main building, you are still naked. Mm. No, a uh, plastic bag over your head. You are handcuffed. In front of you or at your back? Oh, behind me. And you are led to the back of the of of the building of the main building. Mm. What happened there when you arrived there? I cannot even know, control, know to be in touch of myself. What did they do to you, if anything? They gave me a worse beating than the one they gave me while I was at the panel upstairs. As you were being beaten, did they ask you any questions? Yes, I believe it was either Musa Kinte or Lamin Dabo who were telling me, sir, just try and sign this document. At this stage, did you know what document you were being asked to sign? Were you told the contents of the document you were expected to sign? What they told me was a witness statement. Did they say a witness to what? No, they didn't tell me anything else. So, in essence, you are telling this commission that you were in the dark as to the nature and contents of the document you were required to sign. Wonderful On this second day, did you agree to sign anything? I didn't sign anything. In your statement, uh, you indicated 
that it was only Musa Kinte and Lamin Davos' voice I recognize among the torturers. Ne, bati Musa Kinte and Lamin Davos, nyom nyar nyu nyu rek, nga hame sen bati, nyep nga hame nyu le don mititali. Is that, that is what happened. That's your testimony. You heard Musa Kinte. Deganga Musa Kinte. You heard Lamin Davos. Deganga Lamin Davos. It's your evidence that both of them participated in your actual torture. Would you indicate your answer by saying something and not just nodding your head? The two of them were a part of it. I spent some time with them and I also recognized their voices. After the beating, what happened? I was taken back to Bambadika. On the third day, tell us what happened. I know that uh, there is an aspect of what happened that we have written on this paper. Uh, we are not going to discuss that here. Uh, but we would put this document in the evidence. Apart from this particular issue, tell us everything that has happened. There. Okay. You confirm that that is a document that you have signed, correct? Yes. yes. And you agreed that this must, this should form part of your testimony. Well, yes. And that it should be treated confidentially. That's true. Could you send it back to me? Can you now, can you now tell us uh, what happened there, the third night? Legi na nyete ni gudiba lan mo hel. Bu 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 mo nige gudibu gena serious. That was the most serious night. Bu wa fika na smaya yer njib gani na. Because at the time I was having injuries all over my body. Njib gani kumase wud ni pule ka gum. All of them were beginning to heal. When they started to beat, I did not allow them to continue. Kinte told me, Sarge, sign this. I signed it quickly. It was very painful. It was, it was very painful. Before this time, had you ever been interviewed to give a statement? No. Did you see that document before? No. Did you know the contents before you signed? No. So you did not know what you were signing? No, counsel. How did you know which part of the paper to sign? They pointed to me where I was to sign. They told me to sign there. There were two empty sheets of paper. One of them was, having, uh, was uh, written on, but I don't know what was written on it. Because m my eye was not seen properly, it was swollen. And secondly, they did not even give me enough time. At this time, as you were doing this, where were the beaters, the torturers? They were standing. Where were the, the tools, the instruments they were using to beat you? They had them with them. Did you feel obliged to sign that document? It was not. Why did you sign it? 
It comes with the board meeting. It comes with it. It was painful. Tell us exactly the reasons why you signed it. We know it, the beatings were serious, but tell us exactly why you signed it. The beatings. Do you think that they would have that you would have survived if you had continued to resist signing that document? This, that was what they even told me themselves. They told me, Sam, if you do not sign this document, it's likely that you will not survive this. Because at that time, they saw the state of my body. There are some spots when... Uh, the, I am beaten on those spots. Likely to survive. It's likely that I would not have survived. And as a result of that, you signed. Oh. Yes. So what what happened after you signed? After I signed, I was returned to the Bombardinka. See, let's see. The following day. They took me to the military hospital for them to stitch uh, my injury. After they stitched it, I came back to Bambadinka for three weeks. And that was where I stayed for three weeks. At this time, were you kept naked or you were given your clothes back? I was returned to my clothes, but they were torn. And you remained like that in Bambadinka for two weeks. Two weeks While you were at Bambadinka, did others join you there? Well, after, after I went to Malto, that was when I got the information that others were brought there. But we did not see each other. While you were at the cell at Bambadinka, was anybody brought in that cell? There was nobody brought in that cell. There was he said he had a beach by, I think, in Senegambia. Did anything happen to him? He was also beaten well. Beaten very well. Do you know by who? The same people you know. The same people that beat me, we are the ones that beat him. You mentioned three names. Alaji Moore. Alaji Moore. Uh, Musa Kinte, Musa Kinte, and Lamindabo. So your suggestion is also, is that these three people also participated in the torture of Kemo Kante. Who else? Okay. I was there in that cell with Kemo. It was when I went to mile two that I discovered that there were others there. Uh, do you know, while at Babadinka, how were you surviving in, in terms of food and, uh, and water? First three days, eh? The first three days, I did not eat anything. I'm not being a boy. Security, security officer for you. There's one particular security officer there. Japan Aturans and Mambure. And I remember his name, Mambure. He used to struggle and get water. You mean smoke? Wow. Okay, he smuggled water. And give it to us there to drink. Bubu keeps my life for that three nights. And that kept my life for the three nights. You were not given any food. No, were you given money to buy food? Yeah. Uh, within the three days, did you see or talk to a lawyer? No. How about your family? No. What happened after the third day? I'm sorry, after the two weeks, 
that you were to remain in Bambadinka? Ganau nyari besi ayinga hamne def ngaku fufu ke Bambadinka. Ganau lulan no hell. Wah bena bisa kis gay juk. One day I they came. Gay isi mutu fufu cuma boleh sell me. They bought a vehicle close to my cell. Gay gini man. They took me out. You gini boy 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 kemo. And took that other boy kemo. This one he bena mutu. And they brought another vehicle. You gini bena bena man si bena cell kini awa hamake baseka. They brought one man from one other cell. They call him Keba Seka. Ak mumin ama mumin ba. And the mumin ba. Do you know whether anything has happened to these people? Ham la nah nyu nyu ngawah ni am na dalu lor fakot. Wa nyu nyu tam sim bodi langu nyu fakpo antrop dulu ningai antrop. Those two, their body language was poor. They were badly beaten. So as far as you were concerned, all the detainees you encountered at Mile Two during this. Period we are tortured. We are tortured very seriously. We are tortured very seriously. All of them, without okay. exception. Ubasa. Very well. What happened when you were removed from your cell and put inside that vehicle? Yeah, handcuffed me. We were handcuffed. Yeah, giving you NIA. And they took us out of the NIA. Man, this was a demo one is in a this will this will sir. In fact, that day I thought that was the day we were going to die. I'm going to be the mile two. The vehicle went up to mile two. I'm just going to move it to mile two. And then it turned towards mile two. So you guys admit to you. That was where we were admitted. Uh, like detainee. As detainees. Were you told the reasons why you were taken to mile two? What on the land motor? You will have to mile two. Did it? No. Uh, did they tell you whether you are charged of a criminal offence? And that what on the land that for amend to no go ham ne to mal ne ya kon danga ya halwa. Did it? No. Were you given the opportunity to speak to a lawyer? I just on the land you want to make pull ngamuna wa halwa. Did it? No. Were you given an opportunity to speak to your family members? I just on the land you want to pull ngawa hasamboke. Did it? No. Were you taken before a magistrate or a judge? Did it? No. Was there any paper written by any authority, as far as you know, authorizing your 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 detention at Mile Two Prison? Did it? No. No. Did it? No. 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 Indicating why you were detained at Mile Two Prison. She ban jamano ngenge kajot kijich bo hamno wana na na dalila wana take for for Mile Two Prison. I'm okay, Bubu. I never got that document. Ultimately, you were charged with a crime, correct? Why gano yobi na two mile na yada lo hamne mom gadef. Well, yes. When was that? After after how long in Mile Two did you receive such a document? Ila wondo aki yam jamano jamano gana bunle yobo Mile Two chinga jot kijich bo. After two years. After two years. Do you know what you were charged with after two years? No, sir. No, sir. But you were taken before a court. Why you were born in the court at the court? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And uh, you were tried. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, do you know exactly why you were tried? I don't know. I don't know it. I was just accused. What were you accused of? I don't recall I don't recall I don't recall I don't I think I was charged on six counts of terrorism. Right. And uh, that document you signed. Was it used in the trial? Kei bumbu nga hamne mumla ina sign lo wan. Dah jefo nini kuche jamu na jinya yobo chikote. Aga isine ngo? Yes, they brought it along. And were you asked about it? La jo nini yambi the kei bumbu? Wow. Yes. Who asked you? Kula college. George. The George. And what did he say? And how did you respond? Lan la la wah abio lo kotonto. Muna manda kei bi sakila manako bi dusma kei. 
He asked me if this was my document, and I told him it was not my document. He asked me if I wrote any statement when I was arrested. I said to him, no. And he asked me then, what warranted you your signature on this document? At that time, my T-shirt that they had given me, the one that I used to wipe off the blood of my, for my body, when I came with it to Maltu, to confinement, until I got into confinement, they told me to keep that T-shirt safely. Who told you to do so? Wasakamara. said to me, you can use this as evidence. Of what? Torture. Of torture. That was the T-shirt that I used body language and took my body language to show to the judge that that was the reason why I signed. In a sense, you showed the judge the blood-stained undergarment, underwear, and uh, marks on your body to show that uh, you signed that document because you were tortured. Is that what you're telling me? I want George to be yes that is it do you still have those scars in your body up till now uh, i am giving you a photograph uh, could you confirm that this is your photograph showing the masks in your body Yes, that is it. Uh, Mr. Chair, uh, I'll circulate it to the Commission. Uh, this is black and white. We are trying to arrange a colored copy. Uh, the colored version will be put in, 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 in evidence. As far as you know, did the judge accept uh, your your story yes he accepted and uh, put that in evidence evidence for you for me, not yes, against you for me, yes, uh, in for the me. end how was your court case disposed of how what was the verdict he acquitted and discharged me. Uh, do you have any document to show the acquittal, the ruling? In fact, uh, Tell me if I am right. You are charged together. In fact, you are charged together with members of the MFDC of Kazamas. You were charged together with some members of the Kazamas rebel movement called MFDC. Is yeah. that correct? That is true. Have you ever met those people before? No, sir. No, sir. You were also charged with someone from the NIA. That is true. Do you recall his name? Have you met him before? It was when we got to mile two that I saw him. I never saw him before. Do you in fact know what acts of terrorism you were charged for? Well, 
Well, from what I understood from what the prosecution was saying is that I was arrested with this group of individuals in Brikama. What does it call Bigai Rifaku in Brikama? That was why our court case was referred to Brikama. Well, Bunkuma say explain more than you there. Can I put you at the plus budget? But when we started to explain, and it was uh, realized that each one of us came from different areas, different places. See, Sila referred the case to High Court. That was when he referred the case to the High Court. And then in the end, what happened? You said you were acquitted and discharged. Well, Yes, when I was acquitted and discharged, there was a lot of talk. So, uh, uh, may I consult with the chairman? Just a minute. Sorry about that, Mr. Witness. Uh, do you know, do you recall with whom you were charged? This is the Keba Seka that I told you about. Muminba. Muminba. Imo Konte. Imo Konte. These are the ones that I can remember. The others were foreigners. Uh. In fact, those ones, we found them in mile two. They were what? Foreigners. Okay. All right. So, uh, according to the document you provided, that is the ruling on this case from the High Court. Uh, uh, Kemo Conte was accused number 16. Mm -hmm. And Keba Seka was accused 14. Keba Seka more when for kill the agnent. And what what were you? Uh, you were accused number what? You were number one. No, I'm asking you to get high court. The way it's almost seven seven six. I can remember. Seven or six. I think it's yes sir. Maybe we can check with the high court, but it's either seven or six. All right. Uh, so uh, just just a moment. So all of you were acquitted except for a few accused persons, right? Well, uh, yes. Four people, that is eight, nine, ten, and eleven. And that they were Maulud Baji. Lansana Prosper Sambu. Lansana Prosper Sambu. Dauda Jata. Dauda Jata. And Pap Usman Baji. And Pap Usman Baji. Is that correct? Correct. Yes, that's correct. Everybody else was acquitted. Okay. Um, in fact, uh, in the judgment, in the in the ruling, as it is called. 
No prima facie case against the first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, twelfth, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen accused to warrant calling them to enter their defense. Accordingly, they are acquitted and discharged. Okay. And you were released accordingly. Right. Yes. And what happened when you were released? Let's do that quickly. When I was released, what sort of talk? I had a friend of mine who advised me. He told me to stay in one place and not to talk to anybody. He said, this is a government affair. You have a problem with the government. And for the government to take you to court, and for you to win the case, there is uh, something that you may say, and you can put yourself into trouble. And you know what you have experienced. I said to him, in fact, I am not well right now. My body is spinning me. He was uh, amongst the people who assisted me with fear mm -hmm. until I went over to Senegal. But in the meantime, while you were in detention in Mile 2, what happened to your career in the army? One year, how much? Two months? I was there, one year, two months detention. And Bo Baji came there. He said he came to tell me that that I should just uh, to bear this thing and that it will come to an end. He said the army has promoted you from sergeant to staff sergeant. From the rank of a sergeant to a staff sergeant. And also your wife used to come here at headquarters. She used to disturb us a lot about the kids not seeing you. So and then he said that I should write an authority so that uh, he can be receiving my salary and be able to assist the children. So who to be receiving your salary? Can, can like, for my, salary my wife. Do you sign the document? Well, I sign on now. Yes, I signed it. Was your wife receiving your salary? Well, after we will charge you two years. Yes, after I was charged, after two years, I was a prisoner alone. I was a remand prisoner. At that time, she, she had the access to come and pay visits to me. And she told me, yes, now I am collecting your salary. And she told me, in fact, it has been increased. And I told her that, in fact, Bo told me that I was promoted to the rank of a staff sergeant. Did you find it normal or regular? that a person detained in prison on the accusation of terrorism would still be promoted in the service. That was not normal. So after your acquittal and discharge, uh, now you felt that you needed to go away to seek medical treatment and uh, be away from everybody not to say anything. You went to Senegal. How long did you remain in Senegal? Senegal. Senegal I was there for four months. And then what happened after that? After that, my wife called and said that the soldiers were disturbing her, that they have not seen Sam, and that they wanted to see me. I said to her, well, if that is the only thing, then I'm coming. But my relatives who were there, they did not uh, have any trust in my coming back. Why? Why? 
because of system that existed here. Then. What was the system? government. When they accuse you or levy certain accusations against you, if you are lucky with your life, then you praise God. What do you mean by that? No, no, Sakado, go 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 if you are accused of threatening his position, if, that, if you are not dead, then he will no longer look like a proper human being. That was why my those relatives did not want me to return back. But I also thought that, well, I have someone else's uh, daughter here in the country. And these people, when they cannot reach you, they can reach your wife. Are you telling us also that that was the system, that if they don't get you, they would go after your relative or your wife? Well, for an example, we have visit TRC. I think all of those examples were manifest here at the TRC. I'm just asking about your knowledge of the system. Well, yes, it's true. So you saying that these things used to happen? Yes, As a result of that, you decided to come back. Well, yes. Tell us what happened when you came back. When I came up to Hamdalai, I declared myself. I told them that I am Sam Kambai. They said to me, the army intelligence, we are looking for you. We are looking for you. I am around. I told them I am around. They said they were going to escort me. I told them nobody escorted me from Senegal all the way to here. From here, I direct to headquarters. And from here, I am reporting directly to the headquarters. Before my wife or any member of my family would see me, I will report first to the headquarters. Whatever is to happen, so be it. And that was how I reported myself to the headquarters. Were you charged for this person? No. Should you have been charged? For desertion? I'm not sure what I'm talking about. Should you have been charged for desertion? Yes, if that was uh, done in a proper way, if I was properly accounted for. Why? Keep account to me. But nobody accounted for me. Go case with many so heavy case like that. But because uh, such a heavy case as this one, and all the hardships that I went through, there was nobody at the headquarters who could address this issue when I was acquitted. What they will tell me is, Sam, how are you? Just bear. And I knew that was not a good result. Also, what they told me was not something that I could accept in my head. That is to say that I should just hang on for a while and that when they were ready, they would recall me. For that was the main reason why I had to leave this country and run away. I did not run away so that when I was recalled, I would not I would feel to come back. But I just ran away so that I could get to a place where I could have a peaceful mind and also where I could have a treatment and be able to recover. And when you came back, what did they do with you? Well, I was marched to the intelligence office at Banyol headquarters. to the president, commander in chief. They said I should write an apology letter to the president, who was the commander in chief. Did you do anything to him? I did nothing to him. Why did you have to apologize? That was what I said to them. But what they said to me also, they said he was the commander in chief. Oh, you have to let him know of your problem. And also, you make him look very sympathetic 
So mo kan dinang muna ang and plead for his mercy. Yeah, and plead for his mercy. Mm -hmm. And and was that also the system? To do it I mean more you don't have jamano bro. We will na more man. Well it happened to me. And if it happens to me, it possibly happened to my colleagues as well. So in, uh, in the end, did you write that letter? Well, in intelligent officer, me? Yes, the intelligent officer. I told him I don't have any other job. This is the only job that I pin my hopes on. And also, my family is going up and down. They are rent here today, tomorrow they are renting somewhere else. So I said to him, well then, go ahead and write it. Why not an apology letter? But let it not be an apology letter. Like, let it be like uh, the said soldier. The said soldier. The said soldier, the said soldier concerned in this particular case. Court with the court accused and discharged. The court has acquitted and discharged him. The party job will be Mr. Kare since we manage a halal billing. And secondly, this is the only job that he has engaged in since he was a, a young man up to that date. So, some of the money, Madeleine, what's the money? So, if you could assist me so that I could return back to my work, so I keep my family alive, so that I can keep my family alive. Let the Bubu guy be in the sign now. He wrote that letter and I signed it. Was there a response? Was there a response, Amona? Yes, there was a response. And what was the response? Yes, one week, after two weeks. After two weeks, you owe my office to Colonel Hinasambu. They called me into Colonel Hinasambu's office. I heard he he not give my letter. But he did not give me the letter. I couldn't read me. He was reading it. Reading, but you must know on a ceremony. And what I could uh, deduce from the reading, the president, the commander in chief, the president, the commander in chief, Mungun apologized for that soldier concerned. He was apologizing to the soldier concerned. Why? Hina Lumrit. But what Hina read? Monica, this said soldier was this said soldier has to be reinstated in Kuala Gilas Ligia. Has to be reinstated. The Pare Deloko benefit him yet. And also pay him all his benefits. By Hina Lumawa. But what Hina told me. That was in director of finance, we move forward, Emeba. At that time, our director of finance, Emeba, was there. Well, Munayam Amun Ben Ardu call it a benefit for Vusiman. They said they had no benefits for me there. Because of small salary moving flow. Because my salary was flowing. So in the next two weeks or three weeks. He said to me, in the next two or three weeks, you will come back here. Uh, and we take care of all the issues on this letter. And then we will set we will we will we'll, we'll check where to deploy you to. So when I came back again, what Hina told me, a chief clerk, me, and the chief clerk, when I got letter was that that letter, letter was lost. So I'm the one being godfather for you. I had no godfather there. Did you need one? So that you want to get a couple of jobs for you. Once you want to pull up some letter, you go 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 and ask some letter sitting. Yes, I needed one to access my letters because that was uh, going to be part of my evidence. I let you move on. But I was not able to have access to that letter. But, but were you reinstated in the end? Why you left on the chili game? Don't know. You see, my dad has a lady. They never dismissed me from work. Well, the president said you should be reinstated. Wow. President, which letter? But I found an English letter chili game. Wow. Blue, 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 blue. Chili game. Yes, that was what was in the letter. Did you go back to work? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Uh, thank you very much. It's a few minutes to two. I want to end it there with the witness. And Mr. Chair, you can decide whether you would ask your questions before the lunch break or after the lunch break. Uh, I leave that to you. Uh, but I have three exhibits, four exhibits I want to put in. Um, if you permit me, I will do that. Uh, the first is the picture of the witness showing the scar on his forehead that should be exhibit 177 and uh, uh, the protected information sheet should be exhibit 178 and uh, the picture showing the lacerations uh, on the back of the witness uh, should be, excuse me, I, uh, 
sorry, 177 and then 177A. Uh, so we so there will be one number for the witness. And then exhibit 177B. 177A is the protected information sheet. 177B is the picture with the lacerations. And the ruling should be 177C. Uh, we would uh, endeavor to obtain the full judgment, uh, which would have all the, name, all the names of the accused persons who were tried in this matter. Mr. Chair, uh, that is something you would do. In the meantime, we crave your indulgence to accept the documents as, 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 they, are, as they are presented. Council, your request is uh, granted. Um, with respect to, uh, to 177C, yes. the judgment of the court, yes. the ruling, uh -huh. I think um, uh, since uh, he is not mentioned in that piece of paper, mm -hmm. you may want to note uh, in the margin mm -hmm. that witness testified in the uh, commission here that uh, uh, he was, um, I think, prisoner eight. number seven or number eight. six. Six, six or, or seven, seven, yes. Six or seven, he said. And uh, 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 that, that would be part of the record. That would be correct. Uh -huh. Because since he's not mentioned at all in that um, uh, judgment, and uh, let him sign that part, and uh, then uh, uh, we can uh, enter it. Otherwise, we will uh, request them uh, granted. Yes. Uh, it is so annotated, and the witness would sign it. And then, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Uh, thank you. I think we can uh, take a few minutes um, to just finish up with him and uh, get to the next witness after lunch, the lunch break. Fine. Thank you very much, Witness Sama, for uh, coming to testify. Truly sorry that uh, you endured so much suffering in the hands of uh, NIA uh, agents. And uh, Commissioner, if you have any questions, please indicate, Deputy. You have the floor, followed by Imam Imam Jal. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, very much, witness. Uh, my question is a very small one. It's a clarification. Were you at the NIA for three weeks or for two weeks? Because uh, you keep on saying three weeks, and the interpretation says two weeks. Deputy Chair, my name is Lera Lapugare. I'm going to go to NIA. I can take it from two weeks, but it's been two weeks and more. But if we take two weeks, then it's fine. Thank you. Thank you. Imam Jalo, you have the floor. Witness, I have a few questions to ask you, short ones. The first question is, while you, Sadado, was having a chat with the soldiers, American soldiers, did you hear what the soldiers were saying to him? Did it? No. Secondly, You said somebody, one of the soldiers held Sadauda's hand, turned him round, and put him inside the car. I want a very honest answer on this. Do you think Sadauda was coerced in getting into the car? Or was he actually forced to get into the car? Uh, Under that circumstances, was he really voluntarily moved into the car? Could you clarify, please? Uh, I said when the American vehicles came, 
Enjoy party time we bring special guard. We were on the ground. At the time, those of us who were presidential guards, we were on the ground. And uh, no one was able to put the president be by force taken. We were for amnesty arms. And nobody could have gotten inside there and get the president while we were there with our arms. Negotiations from Jogi Hamo. Where the negotiations came from, I do not know. My Bugani stopping in Sibundani. But when they came, they were not stopped at the gate. Don't public clearance. They gave includes. They gave the old man clearance. That is the plain clothes officers. My Luma de Gamgawa plain clothes officers. But what I heard him say to those plain clothes officers is that these are members of the Gambian National Army. We'll tackle the issue. We'll tackle the issue. And when they come, we will tackle the issue. And then he said, let them allow them to come. That was when they opened the gate and they allowed them to come in. What they were conversing with the president, I did not hear that. He greeted the president, he pulled him a little bit and got into the vehicle with him. And the whole security force were moving forward. And the whole security force were, was there. And the officers, senior officers, and the senior officers as well, they bought vehicles. They boarded their vehicles. And they go with the convoy. And they went with the convoy. The last question is, if Sir Dauda did not get out of the state house, Sir Dauda gained out of the state house, do you think this could have succeeded? So gained out of the state house, and gained out of the state house, and gained out of the state house. And gained out of the state house. It was going to be very ugly. Because if you heard me tell you that Because if you heard me tell you that there were some soldiers who were weeping, maybe Jorah was there up to that time. Maybe if Jorah was there up to that time, maybe man mutok visa di wahyo te di mutok di bintok di wahyo fi. Maybe even myself seated here talking to you, I wouldn't have been here today to speak to you. They were there to protect him, not to sit and cry. No, I'm not going to put our code and not to put up the joy. Uh, uh, Commissioner Kao, you have the floor, and then Commissioner Sam. Thank you, Chairman. Thank you, Chairman. Commissioner Kao, I'm going to And uh, Mr. Sam, sorry for what happened to you. Mr. Sam, I'm going to ask you to ask you to ask you to ask you. I have uh, some questions I want to ask you. I'm going to ask you to ask you. The first one is, I wasn't clear about when Alaji Moor told you that Bobaji sacrificed you. Do you know what he meant by that? Uh, I don't know what he meant The meaning is what I got into. To go into a case which does not have any heading. A case where I did not even know what I have done wrong. Real sacrifice. That is real sacrifice. Well, Bo, you know, we problem after. Because Bo, when we had a problem after, not visit my two. until he visited me at mile two, he the for the director general NIA. it was within that time that he was made the director general of prisons. The of NIA, sir. Then I realized that truly he was working in expectation of something. When he met you at mile two, did he apologize for what? what he did to you? Did you be concerned about your plight at that point? Yes, when he came to my tour, I asked him, Bo, what happened? I want to know my fate. He said, well, this is entirely with the NIA. And the NIA said this was not part of the operation. They say it's both. That is why I put my faith on God. The other question is last, last uh, week before last, or the, the last session before this one, the last session. Who came here? And he said, he told the commission that he, he, he regretted what happened to you and he, he made sure afterwards that 
um, what happened to you would not happen again. Mom, what na fiji commission bine munge jigalu chini na hamne mo la dal te difehe ni nagis na nila dal do tu fahewat. But from from what happened to you, do you believe that that was the case that you know he he was he wasn't happy with what happened and he took uh, concrete steps to 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 remedy that. Akiyo ulinga hamne mo la fadal yep na hagomga ne mo bo ba jili la dal ne yahut ko te amna aye go yo hamne mo kodom de pusa faralu. Dulu abu no that never happened. Bosulo ne amu ne har because if this thing actually was painful to bo. When any crime I committed, if there was any crime that I committed at all, I am a soldier. There were different places where they could have dumped me. There are soldiers who can arrest a soldier who we are the military police. And there were soldiers who are also given the task of investigating other soldiers. So, but for both to dump me there and uh, go on his business, and then come back pretending that he was not pleased with that, if this was not pleasing to him, then he would have taken me out of that situation from the why, first why, day. Why is it now more, more heart pain than the first pain? But I got more uh, pain from uh, than the first I got. Then Bo is just uh, speaking things that are not very serious. The final question is, um, you, are complaining, you, are, you are telling this commission that you are civil, civilly tortured? And at some point it affected your health? Because you had lacerations on your, on your, on your body. How is your health now? I just try to manage with it. Because the state has done nothing and the army too has done nothing. Commissioner Samba, you have the floor. Thank you, Chairman. Ms. Sam, Kambi, Mange Jigaru Chiri, Chono Binga Chono. My apologies for the hardships that you have uh, undergone. I am a bull and like Pasquia, you want a Sassana Rebid of Dundem on La Yohamon and a Sassana Rebid of Dundem on La Binga by a single sugar having a Sassana Rebid of Dundem on. I want to know because you said that while you were incarcerated, your salary was on. Were you aware of this situation while you were still incarcerated, or was it after you were released? After two years, some months, be much again. After two years and some months after I was charged, the Madisa put up a visitor. I deserved to have visitor. That was when my wife began to come to my to, to visit me. That was where she told me that she was receiving salary. And that was where she also told me that she has noticed an increment in the salary. And that was where also she revealed to me that uh, Bo that was where I told her that uh, Bo has told me that I was promoted. Thank you. The second question is, you said while you were in mile two, how I asked for my benanike NIE. The three nights that you spent at the cell, you were completely naked. Ana si panel bina duga lon, hana nyopa da korona nenga def niket, da amulo kenko hamid na wana nyopa ela sehiri. Did anyone amongst the panel object to you being put in that naked condition, or did all of them actually agree that you should be made naked? Panel bida lumo mo discover siyo. What I can discover from the panel, bima run dur, bima dur fi bima da nu bima niket bima ma dur. When I was being beaten until I was hit just above my head and uh, above my eye and I fainted uh, until I came to uh, within themselves I had the, it been said stop if you continued uh, the, this guy will die. 
maybe do this. Uh, why the second day, the third day, but we don't never do panel? I believe the panel was responsible for the beatings I got on the first day, but they were not responsible for the second and the third day. And second and third day, we are more painful. And the second and the third day, we are more painful. How many kids do you have? Six. Six. Thank you very much. Thank you, Imam C. Mr. Kambai, Yara Jof. Thank you, Mr. Kambai. Thank you for the, for the hardship. And we also sympathize with you. For the month in Senegal. Where did you go to in Senegal? Ndar. Ndar. For you and Nava. Did you have treatment there? No, for your mahalis. I could not have treatment because I was not having money. You did not have treatment there and you do not have treatment here as well? Did it? No. How many years were you in prison? I'm not for four years, eight months. Four years, eight months. What year did you return back? I had only four months in Senegal and I returned home. Thank you. Thank you. If you have any uh, uh, final remarks to make, uh, please go ahead, witness, and uh, make your final remarks. Thank you. I can do mudah yo hamne muka ngaku fegar muka ko def lagi. Wah kalau semua ni kan hijau digerem TRC. Is to thank the TRC. Chairman Ag Timambi. The chairman and his team. Lead council kita hamne muda udika. The lead council who is seeking to get the lead council. Yang nelayan ni ya jap jap ni. I got assist you. Why is big task lah? It's a big task. For Gambia. For Gambia. I would not say that those who don't uh, speak the truth are there. Why should so I make them bad with them? But if they are there, they are not many. Well, so we say most of the things that tell me you are The reason why I did not come here earlier than now. Some of them, some of more than begin as a Gambian because I lost faith in the Gambian. Why not talk long time and old are but I sat down for a long time and I was watching TRRC proceedings and I realized that these are people of truth. Maybe they can solve my problem. And I said maybe they can solve my problem. Why they can be more than But the way in which this country is moving, all of us are Gambians. Certain things should not be. We should not be doing those things to one another. There was one day I was in Carton. I had Chairman Sisi. The lead council council They said that they were planning on a coup d'état. There are so many of your colleagues. There are many Gambians. The accusations that they were levied against them. Today, many women have lost their husbands. Many men, if they were well, they are no more well. Thank you very much, um, uh, Mr. Kambai. Sorry. Okay. Uh, Mr. Kambai, I'm sorry about this. Yes. If you want to take five more minutes and you come back and finish, uh, we can give you that opportunity. 
otherwise we can end it here as you have suggested. Uh, but think about it and make a choice. Mr. Kambay, Brenda Lago, you will be minister. Benga Dal, the Dilusiwat, why, but it am Munenko Emelefir, Komenko Halati, Ligan at Selatal Nyaru, Bangaji. I guess maybe perhaps the best thing would be to leave it at that. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Kambay. Are you ready now? Shall I? Yes, Mr. Chair. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. <laughs> um, um, again, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Kambay for coming to testify before the commission. And again, yeah. and again, we are truly sorry that um, we had to endure so much answer from NIA agents. But you were very brave in refusing to uh, sign uh, false summer statements at the time that you refused. Uh, why not sign I hope all goes well with you and your family. Again, thank you so much for coming to the commission. We'll now take a lunch break and then resume at uh, three o'clock sharp. Thank you all very much indeed. Meetings adjourned. Eight nine five eighty. Con gai taulen gao legi legi. Central bucha pofu kesel. Bugu bugu am daol gusel. Daol gusep. Daol go hamni alal dong le daol. Don tu ta central bucha. Central bucha am na nyu nyari makan. Nenge che keraba avu du jack alok afkushel. Wanta wa central bucha dinin ibil makan gubesa. Central bucha next sky blue plaza denon do kewal supermarket. Central bucha che bijulo lu best dakal gai. Kon yin ni mai duglu. Don tu lenfa amal len len. Mil Smith, Brisket, Ozoboko Obama, T-Bone Steak, Beef Steak, Brown Steak, Andrew Coat, Lamb Goat, Lamb Chops, Liba, Chawma Meat, Yamunicha, Amal Nen Len Cow Food, Amal Len Lachas, Amal Len Nak Lidi Filet, Bakar Goubes Takal Gani, Pou Yen Kostomasi, Doron Toulen Fagao. Dilen Ibi from Monday to Sunday, 7 days of the week. Monday to Saturday, Yenang Nyu Fasini Ibi 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Sunday, Nyu Ibi Len 9.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Buja, Sendawal Halal, Nagu Reumi, Kharu Reumi, Central 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 Don't touch the central bocha. Central bocha, I'm not your nyari makan. Nenge che keraba avu du jack alok afkushel. Want to watch central bocha? Dinin ibil makan gubes. Central bocha next sky blue.
ไปทำเงินฟันละคิดเคละ2020เลยวะเด็ว้าวพี่นักมวยคิดฟันคิด zero trash perfect skin skin care ซาสุนเนรักนิ่งคนเดียร์เฟร์ rolling สกลาจิเร็กบางนั้นวิ่งยัง problem skin skin ยังทำเงินฟันละฟีเงินดีอยู่สมัยฮาริเดียกอันดีอย่างไรยังทำเด็ดทัสดับเล็งซอนอลอนทำเด็ดโดนเฮซัลเดลล่าเกอคุมเอเดียวมาเล่นคอนักไว้ยูสินเคสคุณนี่ก็แก่เดียวเหรออังค่ะยูสินเคสโลรูเฮลทำเงินติเงินดีอยู่ฟีเงินดีอยู่สกินเคียร์พลัสซีบาร์เร็กเลยย้อนดอกนักไอบาร์บาร์เร็กฟุนี่เลยย้อนเดิมจีรูมิดิเล่นอินเดอร์เร็กนักโปรดักต์ซีบาร์ดูปารีดูอิตาลีดูยูเอสเออ่ะดูฟุนี่คนนี้จ้ะบอลเล่นเล่นจีนักสวีเดนฟุนี่คนนี้เล่นในอินเดอร์เร็กโปรดักต์บุรีทำเป็นดังดังยูเร็กยูไลจ้ะมาอ่ะ natural beauty that melanin dripping we do have stuff for you as well แอมวินซิสกินเคียร์โปรดักต์ซักยุงคิดชูบิทามิดอ่ะฟุนี่เลยย้อนยาร์อินฟักซ์ซ่ะ Last commercial being the phone. Wow, we need one of the new doctor air Nine A grade, right now. Wow. We do have bundles as well. Hair. So we need new doctor. You need to refer to the jigging rack. Literal jigging rack. Wow. We need to keep them. We go on the classic suitcase. You need the new doctor air Samsonite. We need any brown of suitcases though other than Samsonite. Come live with us. Go to the airport. Do the Samsonite. That's what I'm doing. Holy. Wow. Get the land. Wow. Skin. You mum lenyu gena hamé nak skin care products. You mum lenyu gena hamé. You gena doctor mit bentet mit si aydala. Man way man nak skin care moist my specialty. Ham gade tiken busa harka nam regle low def mujak. Aninya Patricia Raina Kiwi eye the whole range. Light no gold. Tomatine. I mean the list can just go on and on and on and on. Lepo lo han regle taral jigen la. Kiyo yu regle nyodok. Skin care plus nak. Emu ini si Gambia rek, nunggu United States, nunggu Gambia fi. Bapare, budaya yang di anywhere in Europe, muna yang laku mail within three days rek, nyeti fan rek, ngajut saya diu. Emu ini seluruh rek, dan lah consult kami. Balai ni lagi ada diu, dan ada a free consultation, purubah lah rek exactly linga hamne, mau minggu aksa kanam. Dan ada yang wah kami nerek, am neng perfumes, you know fragrances, men shirts, accessories. We do do dresses as well. We do blouses. I mean, we do shoes. Name it, we do them. Skincare Plus 2020 is our year of perfection. Zero tasks. Who make any real me fake? Can we refer to tasks? Can we refer to problem? Can we refer to problem? We picture. Book. I mean, refer to can we refer to new law? The plus we fee. Miss V Designer Outlet is the number one quality and affordable stop shop for all your needs. Get your evening dresses, suit and ties, office wears for both ladies and gentlemen, beach wears, sport wears, pure leather shoes for men, quality belts, bags, heels for all beautiful ladies, original perfumes, accessories and a lot more.
us at Kualoli New Road, opposite Gaddafi Mosque at the Aqua Preacher Station. Or call us on 295-3411 or 764-2486. Miss B Designer Outlet. Shop right, look good. When we touch down, but I broke down. Yamtel G Fiber, now you can enjoy super fast internet in gigabytes. G Fiber is affordable, stable, secured, and accessible to homes, businesses, and enterprises. With Gamtel G Fiber, the future is speed. Gamtel, creating a brighter future in communication.